now that we're in the new era 20s the bar is so low that hi guys in today's video we're going to be talking about sunscreen today i'm going to be talking about the murad invisiblur perfecting shield broad spectrum spf 30. i bought the sunscreen i think last year but i've only recently started using it and i have surprisingly been loving it so much so before i keep you here any longer let's just jump right into it so first of all murad described this sunscreen as an invisible spf treatment that blurs protects and primes for 12 hours of flawless makeup wear this is a 30 mil sunscreen 70 pounds very expensive but guys this is murad so you're kind of expecting 70 pounds but you can get this from lots of different places so you can get this from cult beauty feel unique marks and spencers space and k Copy to really said allbeauty.com very John Lewis you can get this from a bunch of different places and stores are always having sales and stuff so you can definitely find this for less than 70 pounds I bought mine from allbeauty.com so I think I got mine for about 50 pounds I think I can't remember because like I said I bought this last year but I didn't pay 70 pounds for this so you can definitely get this for cheaper anywhere else or I would even suggest keep an eye out in places like TK Maxx because they sell skincare for a fraction of the price. I think if you saw this in TK Maxx, it'd probably be like £30 or something, which is better than half price. Anyway, so this is £70 on the website. And then in terms of some key facts, this is a soft focus complex, which reduces the appearance of pores, fine lines, and uneven texture. This is a non-comedogenic, velvety smooth primer that helps makeup go on faster, look smoother, and wear longer. I do have to say, I feel like since I've been wearing this on screen, my makeup looks a lot better and my makeup just looks so much more natural. Murad also said that this is a three-in-one invisible primer powered by advanced skin benefits. This is ideal for all skin types. So normal, oily, combination, dry, sensitive, no matter what your skin type is, this is gonna be good for you. This velvety smooth SPF primer glides over skin to help minimize the look of pores and fill fine lines, creating the perfect canvas for makeup. So color stays true for 12 hours, looks flawless and has a smooth finish. And of According to an in vitro study, 30% of people saw an instant reduction in the appearance of their pores, which is always a great thing. In terms of ingredients, this has three main key ingredients. This has mushroom peptides, a soft focus complex, and barley, sunflower, and cucumber extracts. As always, if you are familiar with Mira products, then you will know that this sunscreen is not formulated with parabens, sulfates, gluten, or animal-derived ingredients. Oh, and then finally, because this is a sunscreen, you use this once a day, you use this in the morning. Okay, guys, so now that all of that boring stuff is out of the way, let's jump into my thoughts on the sunscreen and what I like and dislike about it. Okay, so I think let's start with the good stuff first. So there are a couple of things that I absolutely love love about this on screen the first of which being as we can see it's been a little while i think since we have seen a good sunscreen on this channel but the main thing that i love about this sunscreen is that it does not leave a white cast and i kind of feel like at this stage in the game it is 2023 slash let's say 2022 when i actually first bought it now that we're in the new era 20s the bar is so low that as long as the sunscreen doesn't leave a white cast it's almost ticked like 50% of what people are looking for in a sunscreen. So if you are dark skinned like I am, you've got a bit of a tan going on, you are melanated, you've got a bit of pigment in your skin, you do not want a sunscreen that is gonna leave you looking ashy, purple, blue, green. You just wanna look brown, you wanna look your normal skin color. And what I love about the sunscreen more than anything else is that it's clear, they do even describe it as like an invisible finish. So this is a clear sunscreen, it goes on clear, you can't see it, you can put it on and then you're literally good to go you can either like they suggest you can either put on makeup on the top or you can just go about your day so it's one of those things that you don't have to spend too much applying it also doesn't take that long to rub it in which is an amazing thing as well so you can literally just like get up and go and we all know that i love those kinds of sunscreen products that i don't have to wait there's no downtime i just put it on and then i'm out the door so that's a very big thing if you are 
looking for a sunscreen that doesn't leave a white cast and I'm almost thinking who isn't looking for such a thing. The next thing that I like about the sunscreen is that it doesn't dry my skin out. Now this is going to be linked to something that I dislike about the sunscreen so I don't want to say too much just yet but I do like that when I put this on my face my face doesn't get dry throughout the day and I think sunscreens like this which I will go into a bit more detail later on from my experience in the past they tend to dry my face out and just leave me feeling uncomfortable throughout the day but this sunscreen does not do that my face feels fine feels hydrated not that this is a hydrating product itself but because of my hydrating skincare routine all of my skincare products before I put this on are extremely hydrating then when I put this on top this doesn't dry out my face my face still feels hydrated moisturized throughout the day and I'm not you know halfway through the day feeling like oh my god my face feels so dry my face feels so uncomfortable like I'm not feeling that at all and even when I apply this on my hands my hands don't feel dry or like rough or anything like that my hands actually feel really good the next thing I love about the sunscreen is I just love how it makes my face feel my face feels so like velvety smooth it feels like it just feels really nice. On days when I'm not wearing makeup and I'm just, you know, hanging about the house a day like today, it just feels really nice to look at myself in the mirror and my skin looks a lot smoother. It just looks a lot healthier. It's got a bit of a glow to it, a bit of a like lift from within shine to it going on, which I really like. I feel like last year I wasn't using a lot of glow inducing sunscreen products, which I love. I just didn't come across any, you know, really glowy, hydrating, like, wow pizzazz sunscreens last year and even though this isn't quite mega what wow like a couple of ones i have used in the past this has a nice like subtle thing to it you can see like there's like the way the light is like popping off my um, my cheek you can just like see it like all over the place i really do like it so i just love that you can just see like i'm just like glowing i look good it also helps i have something on the window but i just love how this goes on the skin and it just makes me look really nice, really natural. I look like I just woke up with gloriously beautiful, amazing skin, which we love. And then finally, this is something that almost contradicts the last point that I just made, but the last thing that I do love about this sunscreen is I like that it's a matte sunscreen, but it doesn't give off matte sunscreen vibes. So you can see like my skin has a nice, like I just said, my skin has a really nice like glow to it like it's got a nice healthy lit from within vibe but i like that this sunscreen almost helps to like tone down a lot of shine so i think if you have oily skin this would be a great um sunscreen to use if you watched my previous morning skincare routine video then you know that before i put this on my face is looking super wet super juicy super like gorgeous and something that I noticed last year with a couple of the sunscreens I was using is my face would look like that and then I'd put on sunscreen and then it would just completely like dampen everything and make me look so 2D and I just look very grey and not nice. But what I love about this sunscreen is even though it is matte, when I put it on it doesn't completely 2D my face. It still gives my face a bit of lustre and I really like how I look which is the most important part I think. Oh, and also, do you know what, no, this is the last thing about this. I love that I can wear my makeup on top of it, my makeup glides on really nice. The finish of my makeup these days has literally been phenomenal. It's been so, 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 so good. Obviously the reason is because this is a sunscreen primer hybrid. I have never used a primer in my life. Don't really see the point in them. It feels like an extra step in my makeup because I don't tend to wear makeup for pleasure, I just need to do my makeup and get out of the door. Primer is not something that I would ever use. But since using this, I'm slowly but surely being convinced to purchase a primer and to use a primer because I love the finish of this and how my makeup looks. My makeup looks so natural, it looks so smooth, so even. Looks like the makeup is my actual skin and I love it obsessed okay now in terms of the things that i don't like about the sunscreen the list is very small in comparison which i'm quite surprised at but basically the only thing that i don't like about the sunscreen is the texture of the sunscreen i don't like how it feels when it comes out of the tube it's got a very silicone -y texture feel in fact if you have used the super goop unseen sunscreen then you'll know the texture that's the exact same texture that was the main thing that i didn't like about the unseen sunscreen among other things and if i'd have known that they had the same texture i don't think i would have bought this which i think just goes to speak to a larger thing of 
don't judge a book by its cover and each individual product should be judged by itself and not because it is similar to another product which I'm definitely learning slowly but surely because the way that I love this sunscreen and can't imagine not using it is insane so it's funny to think that if I'd have known that it had the same texture as the super goop sunscreen I wouldn't have bought this but yeah they do have the same texture it feels the same it's that same like silicone-y like waxy waxy thing that I just do not like in products because it makes my skin feel dry but like I mentioned at the beginning of the video even though this feels like that this doesn't leave my skin feeling dry my skin doesn't feel dry my skin doesn't feel horrible my skin feels hydrated throughout the day the difference between the super goop and this is so tremendous that even though I don't like the texture of it I still love this on screen and I think it's such an amazing product. Okay, so now the all important question, will I buy it again? The answer is yes. However, there is a caveat, this is 70 pounds as we've already discussed, so it's very expensive and I think for a sunscreen, this is definitely the most expensive sunscreen that I have used or purchased even though I didn't actually buy this for 70 pounds but this is the most expensive sunscreen that I've ever used and I feel like as good as it is I don't think you should have to pay 70 pounds for a sunscreen although meet me back here in five years time when I'm spending like 100 pounds on a sunscreen not that it's not worth 70 pounds don't get me wrong but I just don't think that 70 pounds is what I would want to be spending on a sunscreen but you know if I'm feeling spendy one day I might just like buy it for 70 pounds but yeah, it's a great sunscreen and I do love it and I will definitely be rebuying it again because it is amazing and I love it. <laughs> okay guys, so that is all from me in today's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you've tried this Murad sunscreen, please do comment down below your thoughts on it. Did you like it? Did you not like it? Have you rebought it? I want to know everything. I'm very nosy so I'd love to know what you guys think of the sunscreen. As I've said numerous times, I'm really enjoying using this sunscreen. I will be rebuying it because I really love it. This is the first sunscreen in in a couple of months that I'm using that I'm really, 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 really enjoying and I'm not finding too many issues with it. Even the texture of it, I'm getting used to it and it's not as big as an issue for me as it was when I was first using it, which is a big plus. As always, I'll have the sunscreen link down below in case you wanna find out any more information. I'll also have links to a bunch of other stores that you can buy this at in case you want to buy this from somewhere other than Murad. Thank you again so much for watching. Don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up and in the meantime, I'll see you all in the next one. Bye guys. Mwah.